Welcome to Nifty Notions from So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and there's a new way to baste your quilts, and it's called Free Fuse. Let's give it a try and see if it works. Free Fuse is a powder that comes in this little container that's sort of like a salt and pepper shaker, and it's refillable. This shaker top comes off. Just put a little stiletto in there and pull that lid off. From there, we're going to be able to put in this bag of powder. It's definitely a powder, not granule, like salt. And we get to fill up our container. That one package does fill up the whole container, but if you want, you could put just a portion in and keep it in the bag. And then this lid slides right inside. That lid really stays on securely, so you don't have any worries of it falling out as you're using it. The idea is you're going to be able to sprinkle this just like you would salt on a surface and it's going to fuse it together. You could use it to fuse two layers of fabric together or use it for quilting. Let's try it on a quilt top. I have my quilt top pressed and ready to go. I have a big pressing mat, my batting and the quilt top. And I'm only going to do a portion of the quilt top at a time. The batting is a little bit bigger than the quilt top, so I have nothing to worry about. And I have smoothed out any of the wrinkles. From here, it says sprinkle along the one surface. Then you're gonna fold it down and press it. And we don't need a lot, and it's not sticky at all. Lay the quilt top on top. Smooth out your wrinkles. From here, we need to press these two layers together. To assure that I get no product on my iron, I'm going to iron over top of a Teflon sheet or a piece of parchment paper, which you can get right in your grocery store. Some of that bonding, I'm sure, has gone along this edge, so I do want to protect my iron. It says to use a medium high heat and then hold the iron there for about four seconds. So I just go right over top of my parchment paper and I'm going to continue this holding that iron about four seconds. Then I'm going to move this parchment paper to the next side. And you can see how well that glue has already stuck. And continue pressing. I'm gonna press this entire surface on top of this paper. Once I've pressed it with the sheet, it's important that you cover the edges with this Teflon sheet. For the center, as long as you have no glue, you can just press directly on the quilt, giving each section four seconds. As with any fusible and any glue, I think it's important that you wait for this to cool down. When glue is hot, it's still movable, and I think this would be the same. Let's pull it back and see how it works. It definitely has bonded. You really do not get a lot, no matter how hard you shake. So I don't really think you can overdo it. So you could do small sections as you go along. Laying that down, four seconds, move. And keep going. Let's try moving it while it's still warm. It still has a nice bond. Let's see how well it peels off. It can peel off, but it does have a good hold. Let's repress it and see if it'll repress down. Let's see if it's rebonded. And yes, it has. That quilt top is definitely staying on. When you wash this, this glue will wash out in the wash. However, I don't feel any glue at all inside of this quilt. It feels very, very soft, as if there's nothing in there. So I'm going to be able to flip this over and fuse the back side on the same as I did the front side. With those three layers together, let's take it to the machine and see how it quilts. I have my Bernina set up for free motion quilting. The feed dogs are down and I will be using my stitch regulator. Anything with adhesives, I normally use a non-stick needle. But for today, I want to see exactly how sticky that glue is, so I'm going to use a quilting needle, 7511. 
I have burgundy thread for the top and a black for the bottom. I do like to start with both of my threads up at the top and I'm going to do a stitch that I call a double C. I do a C and then I do an outside C and I'm just going to do this double C all over the entire quilt. It is definitely not gumming up my needle at all. Let me do some quilting and get back and look at that needle. Three quarters of the quilt is done and there's nothing at all on that needle. No sticky, no glue ball. The entire quilt is done. Let me show you the needle. And the needle is perfectly clean. No stickies, no glue. The quilt is approximately 36 by 45 and I've had no shifting or puckering at all in the back or the front. I can definitely say this was one successful quilt top done. So there's no smell, no mess, and it is refillable. And it really does work. Thank you for joining me today on Nifty Notions. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're talking about next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.